it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy DeVille. And it's Dwayne. And it's time for some shenanigans. This is the club baker. All right, y'all. Welcome Woo! back. Welcome back to the motherfucking episode. Let's get into it. Let's we get back, into back, it. Back again. Well, I guess I'm back. Oh, Dodge is gone. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dwayne is here. Dwayne, you got Dwayne this week. But we still about to talk about some drag race. Yes, Dodge is out on. We gonna get into some men wearing dresses, there, baby. Living his best life. Life. Kudos, live it. kudos to him. Okay. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. Drink a pina colada for me. Uh, oh, that sounds so good. Right it really now. don't. It's too sweet. Oh, no. I nasty. love a good pina colada. Mmm. Mmm. But anyways, let's get off into this episode. So we about to talk about uh, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 9, Episode 7. Before we get started, I might as well say happy Juneteenth for everyone, okay? We can't forget to acknowledge, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the day off if you had the day happy off. Happy Juneteenth. Or, you know, it's a lot of festivals and stuff going over the weekend. You know, kudos to all my people, okay? Joe Biden said happy Juneteenth. Trump would not say happy Juneteenth. Remember that. But that's here nor there, okay? <laughs> it is here. It is there. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's get off into this episode. The girls, of course, come back into the workroom, you know. And Jerry, you're feeling her motherfucking oats. As she should, okay? As she should. As she should, She overcame them devils. They've been on her back trying to drag her down and she had to let these motherfuckers know real quick who the fuck she was. Come on, Georgia Peach. So she came in. Uh, what kills me was how Roxy had the audacity to talking about some. Uh, and Jerry, did, did you really have to do all, don't be doing all them dramatics. <laughs> so Roxy like, bitch, you playing a motherfucking game. I see what's going on, all these the asterisks and acrobats. Bitch, if you gonna block me, block me. You knew you was gonna block me, so why the fuck you just ain't come up to me and just give me the snippers, snippers, snippers Roxy. off the rip? Roxy, why was you girl. pulling one of my dramatic numbers that I did on the last episode All that when shit I held you up did. the line All that shit you for did hours last week. and days and nights? Was drama. You... When I was about to block you but thought about it because you was about to smack the fuck out of me. <laughs> the, the audacity. The audacity. You know what, Roxy? Let me tell you something. I wasn't that I wasn't the biggest fan coming into this season of you. I well, will admit, I wasn't the biggest Roxy fan. And I will say The blasphemy. You know, okay. here we are seven episodes in and I'm still not, okay? Okay. So let's okay. Just, I'm just gonna you, go you're ahead. You're talking fucking crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Okay? Ain't no you ain't gonna talk well, about the dial bag. It's okay? like she is working overtime not to be the villain this season, but baby The Dow not the villain. She is. She's okay she the Dow. She's okay. Okay. You ain't gonna Cause do Roxy. All this, She's like the silent devil, okay? Causing all this crazy drama. But then, uh, she all, she, the, every week, her favorite line is, I ain't here for this. I ain't here she for this. She's not here for that. Like, girl, you, <laughs> but what kills me, ain't nobody checking her ass, okay? I need somebody. Cause she Roxy. Especially in Jerry, girl, I just knew you was about to check this hoe, okay? The way you, I didn't like that you backed down, okay? I understand she's, an icon in her own right. She Roxy. Check that hoe, okay? Somebody need to check that hoe. Vanji, you the only hope. Check that hoe, okay? Jesus. Check her for what? She needs to be checked, okay? Lies. She's just <laughs> playing the game, okay? Yeah, she playing it all right. So, uh, when Roxy said whatever she said to Angeria, you know, Nina, she got sad for some reason. She, she felt some type of way about that shit. She like, well, what kind of game do you think she's playing? And then Roxy said, bitch, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> and Nina, and Nina, Nina, you should have checked that hoe, okay? Why you didn't check that hoe? Somebody check that hoe. I'm going to be so disappointed if this season in and nobody checked that hoe, okay? Check so, her for what? She deserves to get checked, but She okay? don't. Yes, she does. You see them beautiful gowns in that mud? Check her for what? Who going to check her? Shit, they better mind their business. <sighs> 
Andrea, that, stand on business, okay? I'm gonna get a shirt. Check that hoe. Check that hoe. Check that hoe. <laughs> That's neither here or there. So after that, the girls, they tally up badges. They go around and say, girl, how many badges you get? So Plastique, you know, she got like three badges, six badges. She, you know, she is, she feel like she a target. So she's like, bitch, I gotta do a Jedi mind trick and throw the girl okay. off my scent the best way I can. But I'll do that a little bit later, whatever. So after that, you know, they they, they said what they said. And but you know what I will say, um, when they was going around like, how many badges you got? How many you got? I would have lied. Even though I know I got three, I'm like two. Go on to next. How many you got two? Oh, okay, we got and two. And then they would say, I bitch, you fucking lie. I would have lied. So, okay. It would, They're like, bitch, you lying. Plastic, girl, what girl. fuck you lying for? Okay, just, you could have, if you would have said two, I wouldn't have blinked the eye. I wouldn't even know, okay? It, it was so sad I, when Chanel was like, I don't got none. <laughs> and I love you, Chanel, okay? I, now you, I love, okay, girl? But, yeah. But, okay, I show it a lot. That's another good uh, face right there. But Chanel she don't got no badges, so she in her head about that shit, you know. Yeah. She like, I ain't been on the show in a long time, and I don't got no badges. Can I compete with these girls? But that's neither here or there. Let's go yes. to the next day. Yes. So the next day, the girls walk into the workroom. They gather around the table, and that's when Plastique enacts her plan to mind fuck these girls. She was like, well, if we gonna do some eliminations, we shouldn't eliminate the most badges. We should eliminate whoop de whoop whoop and move this round if you subtract the I and dot the T. He said, let me give you some of that um, Chinese math on your ass, okay? And they all looking like, what? They're like, bitch, you just don't want to go, oh, ain't nobody going home. They're like, bitch, you just don't want to get blocked. <laughs> uh, she made sense though. I would, you, you, yeah, you did she make really sense. She really did. You know, but, but, when you think about it, it made sense, but really. It, it made sense it, in her favor. <laughs> it ain't make sense for real, like. Okay. No, <laughs> it really didn't. So after that happened, RuPaul working to the workroom. RuPaul Charles. Hello, 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 motherfuckers. How y'all doing? How y'all feel? RuPaul. <laughs> they all bow down and say, ooh, nice suit, RuPaul. So then uh, she let the queens know a mini challenge is about to take place. Ooh, mini challenge. So the mini challenge is going to be uh, Fruity Patootie. Fruity Fruity. No, that ain't the song. What's the, what's the? You uh, thinking of Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity, okay. Good booty. Fruity Tootie. It, that's not how it goes. God bless his soul. Did y'all watch his documentary? It about was, how he came out, went back in, came out, and went back in, and came out, and went back in again. That's <laughs> not that's not what you take away from the documentary. You take away that he's the icon, the architect. That's that's what you call the definition of self-hate, okay? And What you yeah. take from his documentary is him and a bunch of other queens, they got together and created rock and roll. Yeah. That's what I took from that documentary. As I said, but that's neither here. my queens, live your life. Okay? And they stole from him. They stole everything from him. Didn't want to give him his nah, props. They, they did steal from you. They stole you. everything from him. I'll give you that. But anyway, it's back to this mini challenge. Um, Tutti Fruity. Uh, so the queen pretty much got put fruit between their legs and carry that shit and drop into the basket. Whoever gets the most fruit into the basket, they win the grand prize. Which is immunity. Which is going to be immunity. Correct from going home, but ain't nobody going home. Yes. So immunity from getting snip, snip. I mean, we, you know, the we- Ruby snippers. I, I, we have, you know, growing up, we played a similar game where you got to put different objects between your legs and go in, you know, like a relay race. Um, but of course, you know, this drag race. Versions of it, you know, the, so they using fruit, fruity patootie, you know, right. gays and fruits. Okay, a bunch of cucumbers and eggplants and different shit like in bars and shit, you know? Yeah. So they can make dirty jokes about it, you know? Because Drag Race love a dirty joke. Okay, that's just what it is. Okay. okay. So the queens do that, and at the end of the day, Nina West wins the motherfucking day. Congratulations, Columbus, she Ohio. Did. Come on. Oh, I will say, stand out uh, when George just was like, oh, thank God. I'm so happy I got Bruno. And in my head, I was like, girl, me too, though, okay? That, I would have been doing the same thing. Please let me get Bruno. Please let me get Bruno, okay? Like, go ahead, Bruno. Give me two fists. <laughs> so that was funny. So Nina won her immunity, so she is blocked from getting Ruby snipped. Okay. So it after that, I ain't think nobody was gonna block her no ways, but she a threat. You never know. Yeah. Even though she didn't win the episode she was supposed to win, but that's neither here or there. <laughs> yeah. She also feels a way about that. That's uh, that's another reason why she was sad earlier, cause um, she was she was supposed to win that comedy challenge. All the mm -hmm. queens lined her up to win that shit, and unfortunately, she did not bring it home to Ohio. 
So she feel in her head about that because she supposed to be the funniest bitch there. Mm. In my opinion, she was funny as fuck. She was professional, she delivered, but Nigeria just wasn't fucking with them bitches. Yeah, Nina, baby. Class, he shouldn't have won, y'all. Let me tell Come you. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> she shouldn't have. But, but, Nina, but drag excellence, baby. Down that runway. Oh, you, oh listen. Oh you my god. Plastique can't be fucked with down oh that runway. Oh my god. Okay. You can't that you can't take away from her. You can't take that away from but her. But that is not a funny bitch and she should not it's have one of the talents. But, well, but if she was funny than usual, so I guess you she know, was. It was but, a good effort. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but back to Nina, sad Nina, Nina, you know. To be honest with you, the only thing you really should be sad is about is all them garments you put in your suitcase. Cause baby, they've been disappointed. No, every, no, they haven't, week. Nina. You've been that a delight, would, baby. That would a make delight. me sad every day. Every time I open that suitcase, a I would be like, damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> anyway, like, did I really just bring this? The show must go on. She been slaying okay. All Stars. I'm not you talking about. So uh, after that, you know, um, RuPaul announces the maxi challenge. So for the maxi challenge, the queens have to do. It's an acting challenge. They have to act. Mm -hmm. They have to act with RuPaul. Something called meeting in the ladies' room. So they gotta pretty much do uh, scenes from uh, classic movies. Classic movies. And so pretty much the scenes. It's supposed to be inspired by, but this shit is verbatim. Yes, it is. For, uh, in a way, very much verbatim and very much tailored to the girls' personalities. So it's not like a stretch, if that makes sense. I feel like it's tailored to the girls. Right. But it's slightly hints to different movies, slightly, but not as much as I thought it would be. You can okay. recognize the movie if you know, you know. Right. But some of these movies, you know, these bitches don't know these movies. That's why I say it's tailored to, it's set up so they really can't feel, if that makes sense. I didn't know all of them. I know, like, of course I know, um, I was about to say Players Club, but not Players Club. Uh, <laughs> Showgirls. Um, what was the other one? Um, um, what's that one? Mommy Dearest. Mommy Dearest, thank all you. All About E, Measure Pierce. You know, I, the classics, the boys in the band. See, I don't classics. remember. I don't remember boys in the band. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, moving along. But the queens are already assigned to the road. They don't got to do none of that shit. And they, they yeah. just got to go. They just got to go memorize them lines. So, yeah, Nina West is cast in the Valley of the Dows. Roxy Andrews has a dynasty. Mm -hmm. Angeria has Mildred Pierce. Plastique has All About Eve. Chanel has Mommy Dearest, uh, George has The Boys in the Band, Guy Mick has The Mirror Cracked, I'm not familiar with that at all. Me uh, Vanessa Vanzi Mateo is doing Showgirls, so yes. I guess it's fitting, you know, but like I said, everything is catered to them, so it, it it's fine, so, you know. So after the, after the roles are cast, you know, they go and rehearse with RuPaul, and they, you know, do their thing, RuPaul side these bitches up, and she give her pointers. Which is, you know, a great thing, you know. Um, a lot of these queens, they leave drag race and they do some acting, some commercials, some woody whoop de whoop. So it's great to have. Some of them do. It's great to have RuPaul there to direct these bitches Correct. and let them know, you know, what they need to do. Even in the rehearsals, you know, some of some jokes was kind of landing in, but okay, I can't wait to see how that's gonna play out. You know, or, some they didn't, some people they didn't show yeah, for rehearsal. Yeah, so you know, it's hitting out there. We gotta kind of just wait until we see the full product, you know. But but I'm glad to see RuPaul interacting more with the right. queens. Uh, this we love season. when RuPaul interacts. It's a la um, the Supreme on uh, Drag Race Espanza. Espanza. Uh, Supreme gets down and dirty. Okay. Okay. He be freaking with the queens. She gets down and dirty. I give her I, that. I give Supreme. Okay. So then pretty much after the rehearsals, the queens go jump back into the workroom to get ready you for know. the main. Or, yeah, the main. Okay, they back in there beating their face down, of course. So Plastic, you know, she still feel like she a target because she got all them uh, okay. uh, repeater badges, benefits and badges. And she is a target. Shit. Everyone's kind of You know, it's cute. She Plastic acting like she not doing good in the competition and shit. It's, Bitch, you, you are. You're like you great. really are. Bitch, you're but I understand, one way. What especially the fuck? for her and her culture. You know, you have to really be the best, and you know they always strive for 
complete, you know, excellence, okay? So she feel like she's not giving her best and she's feeling a little threatened. Oh, uh, they I'm a target, I'ma get cut, I may not get no more badges, you know. So she's a little you know, she's feeling a little down about that, but baby, you don't got nothing to worry about, okay? Cause baby You don't. The the, the outfits, the, the dresses, come the on, gowns, come on, the girl. looks, they just come been slaying these bitches. But what kills me though, you know, they, the camera's just pointing towards her, and that's supposed to be her moment to share her story. But then the camera court to the, you know, it cut to the corner, and all we see is got Mick over there beating Veggie face. And I'm like, I, I had to pause the goddamn TV. Hold, hold up. Ain't nothing wrong with helping hold out your sister. Hold on up. Ain't nothing wrong with helping said, out your uh, sister. Uh, baby, the story is over there, okay? But I will say, Vanjie makeup been over this whole it really has. fucking season. And, baby, and I'm like, baby, Vanjie must learn some new tips and tricks. No, I bet. But baby, the tip and trick is, guy, Mick tips must have been doing that mug and mug. Mick been slaying that motherfucking mug. You hear me? I don't know. Slaying what, it. What type of uh, scissoring fucking yo, you and Mick That's her doing? sister. Oh, no. They smushing, okay? That is not fucking smushing. No, That's her I, fucking sister. I think if, they smushing, okay? If I did drag, baby, Mick had to beat my face. I said this but on baby, a prior episode. Mick had to beat me. Okay, she was down. I mean, she was down there beating that bitch face. And Benji just sitting back with not a worry in the world, okay? But you know what? This is the problem with non-elimination seasons, you know? Because if this was elimination season, bitches would be in uproar, okay? They'd be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. They cheating. Bitches down there doing each other faces. All-stars is oh, different. Shit. You an all-star. You uh -uh. prove yourself. You can do whatever See, now. None of them ain't none of them, ain't none of them rules no kind. more. Bitches do kind. Check, I would went down there and check that hoe. Uh-uh. Ain't no doing no makeup, okay? Let this bitch do the same makeup. I can see a regular season, uh -uh. but this is all stars. Uh -uh. These bitches are successful. It ain't see, even about none of that see, no more. Th and this the problem. And when numbers. you become a successful drag queen, see, uh -uh. you don't do your makeup no more. Check that hoe, okay? Ask RuPaul. Check that hoe. It is hoe. what it is. I said, oh no, hell no. Nah. But man, G, your makeup has been so beat, and now I see why, <laughs> okay? I see why. I'm sure man, did but I ain't mad at you. Too. I ain't mad at you. Though. At all. But okay, but that little quick glimpse they gave us, I was like, oh, okay. And tried to then skip right over it. I said, okay. But bitch, we, we caught y'all ass, okay? And 4K. <laughs> but other than that. But anyways, y'all know what time it is, okay? It's time to run away, okay? RuPaul is coming out. Oh, Ru. Okay. Rue coming down giving old nasty Cardi B bangos wig, <laughs> looking all fantasy club kids dress. I love it though. I love top. it. She it it great. is the top. At first I was glancing at this wig like what the hell is this? But I was like, you know what? I'm feeling it. I love the flower. I love everything. I'm feeling it. I like the look. Everything about it. Though. She looked 20. So for the runway, the queens are delivering widow wheat for me. Widow Widow Week for Widow me. Widow Week for me. We do have a special guest on the panel. We have Carlton Haynes. Carlton Haynes, yeah. Uh, I remember him from the CW on He's Arrow. On CW. He does uh, on Halloween. He was Ursula one time. Mm -hmm. Another Halloween, he was Shrek's wife, Fiona. He also was in the gay classic Love Simon as well, though. You know, but that's. I don't remember that. Oh, uh, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Col shout out to Colton Hayes. He wants some Vaseline, he said. Oh, yeah, he was like, okay. He, he was ready to get dug and gutted by the girls. But he said, Ru, I ain't bring my Vaseline. So it's going to have to wait okay. till later. Okay, and that just, child, that just made me think about back back in the day, child. I was like, you know, I used to get criticized some ass for always, you know, using Vaseline. And bitches mm -hmm. like, no, no, bitch. You need to quit using that Vaseline, bitches. That's how bitches' insides get tore up and towed outside. But, hey, Vaseline feels good to me, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I love Vaseline, okay? But what about you? You don't like it? I'm a virgin, so. Oh, my gosh. Who knows? G give me some old nasty petroleum jelly, okay? But anyways, come on. Let's get back into this, um, this runway. So we got Widow As You Weep. Okay. So first up. We got the awe-inspiring, straight from Columbus, Ohio, motherfucking Nina West. Come on. Yes, Nina West serving me the haunted mansion from Disney realness. Nina, your makeup is beat though. I, I would give yeah. you that. Yeah, this, this is one of Nina's best looks this season. 
Come baby, on, Nina. I'm like Carl Sinat. Come when, on. When that reveal came out, Nina, baby, you need to work on how to deliver a reveal, okay? But it's revealing. The baby, look is epic. We got to sit there and watch you pull these garments off, off you. I mean, you pull it off piece by piece until you get it. I'm like, a real reveal supposed to be bam. Bam! Everybody can't do Nina the same is, Nina gotta unhook this. She gotta unhook that. Twist it over here. Turn around. Okay, I'm like Carson. I was clutching my pearls too. Like damn. He was blown away by the, the how stunning the look was. You Nina. chopping or chopping? I'm. It's a soft top for me. It's a top. You look, okay. you look great. I wasn't blown away by it. And that. Yeah. Next up, we got Miss Mug herself from Florida. Motherfucking. Roxy, the icon, wig, wig reveal, Andrews. Come on, bitch. Come on, Roxy. Come on. Oh, y'all, my heart yeah. beating so fast. Roxy is just stunning. Her face is just gorgeous. Ah, it she, is. This bitch is uh, uh, the killer block bride. She mm. got glitter blood coming down her motherfucking neck on her face into mm. her fucking bosom. She got Annie. Anne Boleyn's ex, what's her name? Annie Borden. And who, what's that bitch name? Liz, Liz. Lizzie, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie Borden. I Lizzie Borden that. had an ex. <laughs> I was thinking about the misery there. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was, but at Night Girl Roxy, the, the mug was. Baby, the mug is was, airbrushed. If was. I did drag, baby, Roxy had to paint my motherfucking mug because this yes. mug is per fucking fashion. It was professional. The I dress, y'all know she made it. The dress was perfect. It's excellent. The, the veneer, the tea, baby, perfection. The veneer. The fucking wig, baby, perfection. Roxy look fucking stunning. It's a, it's a top. Oh Roxy. my God. I, I can't this. even hate on that. I, I can't. You, it was perfection all around, okay? All around. Okay. Next up, from fucking Atlanta, Georgia, now residing in Los Angeles, the city of fucking angels, Angeria, Paris, motherfucking Van Michaels, y'all. God damn, come on, Angie. Come on, bitch, come on. Angie, come on. Well, baby, this, this walk is everything. She is giving a slow sunter down this motherfucker. Her head, the urn and the head piece is everything. Yes. The fucking web of deception behind her. Yes. Baby, it's yes. everything. The makeup yes. is flawless. Baby, if I did drag, Angie had to paint my motherfucking face. This this face is painted so fucking flawless. It's a top, Angie. God yes. damn. Come on, Miss Jesus Angie Christ. Phaedra Jesus Parks, Christ. okay? Miss Angie Phaedra Parks, come down gliding like the Southern Belle she is, okay? okay. Baby, she gonna give you gliding. a Gliding. She gonna glide, okay? She gonna glide. slow. Gliding. She gonna make sure you see every twist, every curve, everything mug. You look amazing, Angie, as always, okay? All ways, okay? One thing about Miss Angie, honey, she gonna deliver on the runway, okay? She gonna deliver on the mug. She gonna deliver just- On that walk. She gonna walk. give you that pageant she walk. She gonna sell the walk, okay? It's a top, okay? Come on, Angie. And then next up, we have- Oh my God, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lord, baby, this look is, I don't even know I don't even know what Widow is about it. I don't know. I can't recognize it. Maybe it's Widow in Vietnam. Baby, I don't know. All the way from Vietnam, I don't know where she live at in the States. But baby, plastic motherfucking Tierra. This mug is so fucking over. This wig is expensive, y'all. It's expensive. The, it's growing out of her scalp. It's, it's growing from the scalp. This fucking outfit, mm. this mm. kimono. God, mm. Baby, a train behind it. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. It's the sleeves. Where do we The start? rhinestones. Mm. The gems. The mm. bejeweled. Mm. The fucking pieces uh. on her fucking ear. Ooh. On her fucking nails. Yes. On her fucking... Uh. Her tears are fucking Give diamonds. It Give it to her. Her ears are yes. diamonds. Her face is airbrushed. Mm. She's so soft, so cunt, so mm. regal, so royal. Mm. It is everything. It is perfection. She done slayed another 
fucking runway. I fist this look. She looks Woo! so goddamn good. Yes. God damn. Baby, I am full. Woo! Okay, Plastique, you have fed us. Okay? I don't want to see no, I don't got to see no more looks. You have fed us, okay? But I, and I pretty, when she made reference to that, her culture, they wear a certain garment to pretty much any celebration. And that's what she gave us. And baby, you did not disappoint, okay? Ugh. Baby. It's it, a celebration for my eyes, okay? Uh, come on. I got her. Listen. I want to rewind it and look Listen. at it again. I baby, mean, my glasses are so foggy right now. Woo! I was just like, oh my God. Oh my God, I, I, shit. I was sweating just watching it. Baby, get listen to this. It's over. Just from the neck up. And Perfection. I can't wait to watch her Instagram Perfection. later because she's going to animate this oh. outfit and it's going to look mm. more, even more breathtaking. All right. Oh, oh baby. Let me tell I you got who? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, she about to tear Instagram up, okay? Up. Instagram oh. and TikToks and all that shit. But oh that's neither here or there. That's oh neither here or there. Perfection, okay? I bet Nina opened plastic suitcase and be like, damn. <laughs> No, she did. No, she did. Damn. No, she did. Next, next up, <laughs> from Las Vegas, y'all, Chanel. Chanel, love. I love you, Chanel. Come on, bitch. What you got up under there? It's giving. Oh, come on, wig. Come yeah. on, mug. The mug is painted. Yes. Come on. Come on. You know what? My only critique about this is, I wish the cover up was more of a dress form and then you revealed it into this similar to something with um what's what's my my sister um um what's my sister uh Sophia? no my, my big sister um what's my big sister um Eureka? Oh my god. I feel so bad. Silky? Silky, oh my god. Silky, y'all know how Silky had this big, beautiful black gown on, and then she revealed it to a big, even beautiful gown. And that's why I was, I was, you know, because you came out in this big ass cape, that we, which we all know going to be a reveal, but. I wish the it cape was, was basic, but the, the reveal was, was everything. The cape was very basic. Okay? I wish the reveal was more sense right here, but right. other than that, the wig, the okay, face, the mug, made, everything, you, it's still expensive. It's still a little right. gorgeous. Put some jewels on the cape or something. Give me some, you know. But but you look you look good though. Your makeup, which is always flawless, always, always flawless. Always flawless, flawless. Okay. Flawless. The reveal look is the reveal look is a top for me. Okay. Next up, we got. Georgia's servant drama. Drama, okay. I'm so sick of Georgia. She got a couple little props and she do a little reveal. She Georgia's. look good, but the baby is basic. Georgia's. You know. Bitch, let me tell you something. I'm so sick of these goddamn cocktail dresses. I mean, girl. <laughs> and that's exactly girl. what it is. Oh my God. How many damn cocktail dresses you gonna keep throwing in our goddamn face? She don't look bad, y'all, but. Compared to what these bitches just served up on this motherfucking runway, it just comes across mm, basic. It's very basic. And all these girls, all they were, uh, before they revealed it, it's been like this black, you know. I mean, I get it with a give, celebration. Can you, you know, get, I get it. can you give us something new? Can you just give us something new? I shock me by give. I, if you pad one day, give me some padding. Give me some brass. Give me some that's gonna just shoot. Baby, slow your ass down on the runway. And Jerry, go too slow and you go too damn fast. Okay? You just be strutting down there in these same ass cocktail dresses. The wig was a little poofy today, but I'm gonna give you a pass. But still. Your makeup is always cute. I'll give that to you. You always have cute makeup. She look good. But give us something new, okay? I'm a something top. Something new. Soft top. Soft top, okay? Next up, we got another fashion killer. Got motherfucking me. Come on, bitch. She baby, a melted candle. Baby, <laughs> this is everything, okay? It really is. It is everything. When it's time for some evil devilish... Listen. <laughs> Shit, got me, got so bad. She she gonna come with it. It's edgy, it's young, Let me tell it's you fresh, something. it's fashion. As they it's say, it's over, it's expensive. All it's the gays mid. love to dress up for Halloween, bitch. That's my Halloween outfit, okay? I had screenshot this. I said, oh shit. I know what I'm doing for Halloween now, okay? That's my drag moment, okay? Got Mick, that was every fucking thing. It really okay? was. It's a Everything. Top. Great top. job, Mick. Okay. Again, another fashion killer. Bitch ain't been playing with the runway neither. Next up, we got Vanjie Matea. Vanessa Vanjie Matea. Come on, Van. And this bitch is so over right now. This for first off the mug is on point. The mug is mugging. Thank, thank you, Mick. Okay. But secondly, the fucking wig is everything. It's the, the wig just look natural. It's 
it's young, it's fresh, it's Latina, it's caliente, it's mm. mucho fiery. It's a, um, a the magic. outfit is giving you very much uh, New Orleans uh, funeral realness yes. with the umbrella and everything. Yes, okay. I love her fucking neck piece. I like Veggie don't pay her too much, but you can see like a little boob action right here. Finally, it, you know she give me yes, a little, okay. give me a little boob. She give me a little cake and leg. Mm. This bitch is giving me a nasty ass heel. It's giving me a villain, a good villain. I'm thinking like she's some type of evil vampire or this something. This bitch is like it's, the girl from Stellar Blade. I'm playing. Uh, this something I put on this bitch when I'm oh running around God. the desert. Come on, bitch. It's a top. It's a on motherfucking on top. Do y'all come play? on, Vanzi, bitch? Come on. Play. This video game, Stellar Blade. Baby, first of all, it's it's offensive to women, by the way. No, okay. it's not. Vanzi wearing the same outfit sexist. I wear. I wear that outfit. Y'all should see this game, okay? I see why men play it, but mm -hmm. baby, as a woman, I I would be offended, okay? Women play it too. Nah. Women love it. Wow. it. They feel empowered playing. You got half bikini bitch running through the desert fighting in six inch heels, but you know. Babe, they listen. He play it every day, okay? I'm gonna play it after this. And I and I sit and I sit back and I shake my head like this, like this don't make no goddamn sense. But Vanjie, you look amazing. Amazing. Of, of baby. course, you came out after good because I'm sure she had to run back and touch your makeup. And before, anyway, don't don't, don't play Vanjie. Vanjie okay? touches up her own makeup. But you you look amazing. And I told her, oh, I said, oh no. Bitch, you look like a star. A, you look great. A star, okay? Mm -hmm. Vanjie, I loved you this whole season. Come on, Libra. Okay? Come on. You you've been. This is your redemption season, okay? Cause, bitch, the glow up is amazing, okay? Do we got anybody else? Ladies and oh. gentlemen, and in betweens, and who don't identify at all, that is the runway. Come on, somebody, yes. Um, who is your favorite on the runway? Oh my God. Okay. Um, I know it's a combination of Got Mick, um, Plastique, and Vanji. Um. I'm gonna put it like this. Plastique, I feel, had the best runway, but I like Got Mix better. Right, if that makes sense. All right. Yeah. So for me, Plastique ate that runway she for did. me. So I'm gonna go Plastique. I really enjoy Angeria outfit. I really enjoy Vanjie outfit. Mm -hmm. Those gave me a lot of life. Let me tell y'all something. When I life. say. My lips are so glossy right now. I'm wearing this new Fenty Cherry Blossom um, lip gloss, and it's like my lips are sliding off each other. It's just like, it's just crazy. But get y'all some. It tastes good though. And I tell y'all right now, y'all, my feet hurt so bad. I'm wearing these new Mary J. Blige boots. <laughs> and you get y'all some, y'all, cause my feet are on fucking fire. But when I go out to the motherfucking club, I be in that goddamn dancery. You hear me? The dancery. Okay. I hope right. y'all, you know, anyways. <laughs> but okay, let's get into this maxi challenge, okay? And you know, let's see how these girls do and they acting chops, okay? Come on, RuPaul. So first of all, RuPaul come out, baby, she's selling black butter coffee. <laughs> <laughs> come on, black butter. You know, um, Azealia, is it, Azealia Banks have a, it's called black, I think it's called black butter. It's a soap that is supposed to be for bottoms that Azalea Banks is selling. I don't know, y'all check that out. But anyways, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, RuPaul, this is gonna be a real product, so yeah. make sure y'all check it out. I thought this was the ladies' room. <laughs> 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 Nina, what's the fucking fool? Nina, you... <laughs> Great room hall, you're doing coffee commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. See, Nina doing good, y'all. She being over, over the top. She kind of overacting, but it's still, but that's that's drag, though. Yeah. Baby, she giving y'all hairspray 2.0. And RuPaul said, drag don't go far for with them cheap wigs. I said, that, <laughs> clock it, Ru. Clock, uh, check that hoe. Anyway. That's a switch from the Baby, when I tell you, Michelle gonna always catch a stray, okay? Uh, all right. <laughs> you take that back. Nina smacked RuPaul for real. And that it looked like a real one, okay? And RuPaul smacked and Ru, that bitch back. She got her lip back, okay? <laughs> Agnes, when you really smack a bitch. Okay. 
<laughs> Nina Nina did, was funny. She she delivered as, that, all, as, as Nina always. did great. Okay. Okay, who who next? Next up we got Roxy and baby Roxy looks fucking amazing. I don't care what you say about Roxy. Roxy looks so fucking over. The makeup, the outfit, y'all know she made it. The fucking wig. Baby, Roxy wigs are so expensive looking to me. Like, Roxy is everything. She she look okay. She looking like Raven. This bitch. She looking like Raven in her face. <laughs> anyway, where you think Raven got it from? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> RuPaul did dance name uh, under the name Cupcake back in the day. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think Roxy did good, but it, Roxy did great. It, but compared to Nina's, it's it, you know it's a, it's a chop. It's really not. Roxy is eating right now. It, this is Dynasty. I don't think she was This there. reminds me of fucking Dynasty. The way this bitch dressed and the way she acting, this is Dynasty through and through. The only thing she eating is RuPaul's urine sample. Okay? <laughs> anyway. And the way she chugged it at the end, baby, it was everything. Whatever this was, Miss Paul. Well, shout out to all y'all that like to get pissed on. <laughs> <laughs> the shower right, right of the foot away. <laughs> Okay, here come a real star coming yeah, up. Any, anyway. The, I... <laughs> come on, Angie, bitch. Celebrity. Come on. Angie gonna come in. I, I mean, she came through. Don't funny. Because Angie funny. <laughs> okay. Angie, Angie naturally funny. <laughs> bitch, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's some shit I would have said if somebody said some blackmail. Baby, when she came for RuPaul perfume, I ain't lying. Okay. And you got a new catchphrase, y'all. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. <laughs> she is gorgeous now. Ooh, baby, they do need a show. They do. Baby, RuPaul and... World of, World of Wonder. RuPaul and Angie need a motherfucking show. Yeah, I ain't okay. gonna lie. They do need Give a show. Give a Cause they hear funny as fuck. Listen, baby, that stuff Angie, will back to me out. Just that second slip alone, you deserve to win, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Drag the Fence Fine, okay? Make sure y'all donate, all right? Come on, Miss Paul. <laughs> Whatever this was. <laughs> and that walk. And that back stair. And she ate that. She ate. Plastic okay. looks so beautiful. Not plastic, of course. You look amazing. Her robe alone. alone. Come on. I'm Come not, on, Fit. Okay. Come on. Bitch, you can wear this on the runway. <laughs> She must have borrowed one of George's cocktail dresses. <laughs> She's just not funny. She, she wasn't really funny. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was. If, I but mean, baby, you look amazing. She do look amazing. It was, you know. Ugh. I feel like if this was the elimination season. But you, I did like her teeth thing. Yeah, you, yeah, it was okay. Come on, Chanel. She look amazing too. You, look, nice you look amazing, Chanel. Why did you deliberately divide me? I'm sorry, what? You embarrass me in front of a reporter? A reporter? Wait, are we doing a bit? This is my okay. movie, y'all. I love Mommy Tears. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second to catch on what it was. Why did you invite me to All Stars? Barbara, please! Please, Barbara, please! If you need anything, go ask Caroline. <laughs> okay, the first queen, bitch. Then why won't you treat me like I would be treated by any twist on the Las Vegas? Right, Rue. Give this bitch her badges. She need to earn a badge and give him, give him whatever acting this is, ain't gonna get it. Cause baby, 
This is painful. Um, it's better than plastique, so. Is it? Yeah. I don't it, know. It was way better than plastic. I don't know. Kind of uh, still. I think plastic. So you was ain't at the bottom. You like? No. Nope. She the second from the bottom. Plastic right now. was better than that. Oh no, no, it wasn't. It really was. Come on, Georgia's. Here come old Georgia's. Georgia's, this wig is the fool, okay? It is. It's the fool. It's flat. <laughs> it, okay, somebody smacks you right on top of your head. It's a comedy challenge. <laughs> it's giving, uh, what's that show we be watching? Uh, the Poker Face Bitch. What, what's the Poker Face Girl? Oh, Poker, oh, uh, uh, Natalie Nunn. Nat uh, not Natalie Nunn. Oh, Natasha. <laughs> yeah. Pinterest. Okay. Natasha Leon. That's who it's giving. <laughs> oh, it is giving her. That's it is giving her hair. <laughs> that is. Natasha Leon, bitch, this your hair. <laughs> I do believe that is my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Smack that bitch. Smack that twink, bro. Smack okay. that twink. Cause you know she like it. She love it. You know she like it. She didn't even feel it. That baby, that's one thing you can tell me. I know George is and like twinks it. don't feel a thing. You can just go bad. right up in that hole. Oh my god. <laughs> Get on that chair and smack that bitch, twink. Yes, come, <laughs> come on. on. Okay, I died when she got that chair, though. RuPaul lived that. <laughs> Can you get my get the autograph? <laughs> <laughs> George was funny to me, y'all. George was funny this whole season. When she got out of her yeah. head, bitch turned it on. She, she was, was funny this whole time. Than, um, plastic and um, <laughs> Chanel. Yeah, she, she was hilarious. Yeah, but I wouldn't give her board to the other girl, so she's like third from the bottom for me. Uh oh, oh no, Mickey. Here, here come Mickey. Here come that devil. Here come Kiss. Okay. <laughs> What's the other one from um, WWF? Oh, Sting. Sting, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you stole Sting face. <laughs> he could have been from the other one, but y'all know who. First off, Mick came in and she stole uh, Nina West's entrance joke. She did. Number one. And then last week at the fucking roast, she stole Oh Jokey, what's that bitch name? God. She stole what? the whole girl set. Oh bitch. Word, word for word. Word for goddamn word. Word for motherfucking word. She oh got a special god. HBO Max now. I can't think of her name. Oh my god, it's gonna Her you. HBO Max special was actually fucking funny. I watched the whole thing. I laughed. Oh my god. It's gonna but she stole it. Word funny funny word. lady, funny lady. But yeah. I ain't I ain't mad at you. Nikki Glaser. Nikki glaze her. She's like, bitch, I need some material and bitch, I'ma learn this word for word. And she did, baby, word for word. Oh my god. Baby Mick, you was wrong for that. Baby, like we gonna get Google. <laughs> she's like, they ain't gonna know time by the time this is. So I don't know who who said this is she stole. I can't wait to see the, it, don't worry, Twitter gonna tell us. It's gonna come up. Cause bitch, you stole somebody else's shit. You stole okay? somebody else's shit. And it was just okay. You stole they look, they mug, and they lines. You stole Sting Face and you stole this Nikki Glacier set. Yo, your hair look amazing, though. It do. Oh, here come a banshee bitch, okay? okay? <laughs> you like my percents? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you know who I love to see in a skit? Banji and Lala. Baby, they would tear us get up to you. Two Banji bitches. Okay. okay? <laughs> Come on, dance, bitch. <laughs> uh, RuPaul is playing Crystal so good from uh, Showgirls right now. Come on, darling. <laughs> Dollar. We all are. We take the check. We cash the, the check. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> she get passed on the phones. What's that smell? I don't know where this doggy child came know. from. I don't know. Is that some real? Smack that bitch. Is that some real? Yeah. Is that a Tell me, okay? Let me know, cause I want some doggy child too. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the movie. <laughs> get yourself together, man. Oh, <laughs> baby, oh, she smacked RuPaul's oh, eye out. <laughs> 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 Come on, RuPaul, give some good acting now. 
<laughs> this the acting RuPaul gave in that one movie I like. Um, what movie was she in? From Crooklyn. <laughs> Try RuPaul on a goddamn slapping spree, okay? This is Connie. Uh, baby, this is Connie. Baby, she slapping the whole goddamn staff. <laughs> I mean, slapping them bitches one by one. We what? know some of the staff. Okay, it's so crazy. Like, what come, come on, Jessica. We know a lot of these bitches <laughs> from behind the scenes. Come on, Jessica. Shout out to Jessica. Okay. A lo lovely woman, so nice, baby. I'm I, a, I know that bitch. I know Not her. Bruno. Oh, not damn Bruno. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. I know. Uh, that's Raven ass. Okay. I thought that was a black man. <laughs> They're going <laughs> Shout out to some of the staff we know. Shout out to Smack, y'all. Okay. Great seeing y'all on the episode. Hope we see y'all again <laughs> in LA. Catch y'all on the next premiere. <laughs> so, but yeah, baby, that was, that was, that was the maxi. That was the maxi, uh, okay? The best for me was Angie was amazing. Baby, Nina was amazing. Vandy, she was pretty funny. Um, yeah. So who was your favorite? I just said it. All of them? I enjoy all of them. Baby, Angie, you deserve it. But you, Angie, uh, Angie ate. Angie, you ate that. Okay? Nina ate too, though. But Nina Angie, is professional. When you opened the door, I just bust out laughing, okay? I bust out laughing from the time you walked in to the time you walked out to the turn, turned around and gave a second mug. Okay? I died when Nina walked in and said, Bitch, I thought this was the ladies' room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what this man doing that? Okay, what this man? Okay, but Ashley, I enjoy Roxy a lot. I thought Roxy ate. I felt like Roxy ate. It gave me Dynasty so fucking much. Was that bitch said Miss Paul? Whatever this was, <laughs> <laughs> I died. I enjoyed them ladies. So On the side everybody note, did pretty good. Uh, Michelle's outfit today, I'm loving it, baby. This was this shoulder with this lace and this ponytail. Baby, Michelle, I ain't gonna lie, this is everything. Shout out to Miss Besides. Okay. She always yeah, be I wear that. She be over there Carson eating. Carson, hell, the blazer, hell. I wear that too. Eating. Colton, yours okay. Colton, you look great. I follow you. Okay. Eat, eat, Colton, <laughs> eat. Yeah. But anyway, it's okay. So, so the winner is? Top two is who? It's going to be Angie and it's going to be Nina West. Congratulations, ladies. Deserving, okay? Um, on your win, so now they got to battle it out for charity money. Yes. But they both get Rupitia badges. Amen. Beneficious badges. That means that gives Angie a total of three now, right? Yeah. And then Nina has a total of two or three. Three. She got two. I don't know. But anyways, both of them are deserving. I thought y'all both do deserve to be the top two, okay? Congratulations. Congratulations, all right? So it's time for bitches to battle it out. All right, girls, go back there and put on these little dramatic outfits on, on this. And let's see, just for you can't lip sync in it. I wouldn't change though, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, I don't feel like changing, okay? I'm, I, I'm just gonna keep what I got on. Showing, I'm showing I'm, all my fucking drag. I'm, I'm just, letting these motherfuckers know every uh, time they, Every if I go on Drag Race, every time I y'all blink, I'm gonna have on a new motherfucking look on these bitches. They was like, God damn, when she get time to go do that? Okay, uh, uh cause when man, when that happened? When I hit the road, damn, like you wearing that again, like baby, y'all want to see it, so I gotta wear this shit again. So I guess. So the queens are about to lip sync to Tina Marie, Lover Girl, y'all. Okay. Rue love a little old school little. This a hot little ditty. Okay. Shout out to Tina Marie, may she rest in peace. The queen of the ivory keys, y'all. What he said, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, a lot of the song choices this season have been very questionable, but that's here nor there. I've been enjoying all the songs. They've been on, uh, on point. They are definitely from a particular era, so. You ain't 12. Ah. Uh, I mean, right now, they going neck for neck right now, you know. I think, surprisingly, Nina's doing good, surprisingly. You know, Nina always, Nina always do good. she try to be camp all the time, but she, she actually give me a few moves, and she give me drama. Whew. 
Oh shit, come on Nina. Come on Nina. Come on Nina. That's what I'm talking come about. Come on Angie, lay out for these motherfuckers. Show them some cake, bitch. Show them some cake and lay. Come on Angie. Okay. Come on. Nina, that's all Baby, I Baby, Nina, words. I can hear all the words come out of Angie's mouth. Can you? Every one. Nina, every last I'm one. I'm surprised you didn't change stuff. She probably said, uh, uh That was her first mistake. Okay. You should have changed. <laughs> that was the lip sync. And to winter is... Angeria Pierce Van Michael. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rightfully so. I'm pretty sure by the next season we're gonna have to get a whole new table because this is just getting ridiculous. This table's so beat up, it's just it's just getting out of hand, okay? It's beat up because you beat it up. This is just getting out of hand, okay? So now uh Angie gotta give the Ruby snippers to a bitch, and she got a bitch in her eye, and she walked straight up. She like, I don't even gotta think about it. She walked straight up to Roxy. Here you go, bitch. Then Roxy jumped back and she was like, bitch, no, not me. Then Angie's like, I'm just playing, girl. I'm just playing. No, you should not be I'm playing. I'm just playing. Angie, check that hoe. I would have But I had you scared, didn't I? She should have gave it to her. I would have checked her. No, Angie got another bitch on her target. She checking yeah. all the bitches who snipped her. So now she coming for Mick ass because that gave, bitch snipped her. She gave it to Nick. For no reason. But you so know what? So Mick snip, snip, and Mick acting dumbfounded. Why I'm snip? Bitch, you know why. Yeah, you know why. And Angie the made fuck? sure she got her lip back, okay? But for good TV, I would have just gave it to Roxy ass, okay? Like, you know what? Let and for good TV, Roxy should have gave it to Angie ass. No, I'm going to show her ass, okay? I would have cut Roxy one more time. I'm like, they should've just kept, keep going back and forth. Okay, we need some type of drama, okay? So is ain't nobody gonna check Roxy ass. That was the episode. The, the queens have been snipped. They've been the, snipped. The queens have been bashed. Baby, with nobody going home, I just don't know when the season is ending, so I don't know how many more episodes we got. I just don't know. We got five left. Oh my god. So yeah. We only got five worth of women left. So I don't I don't so but hey, okay. I guess we'll be back next week to see <laughs> who don't go home. So <laughs> you know. <laughs> Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. You know, enjoy your week. Thank y'all for hanging with us. I hope y'all enjoyed our little mini review of the episode, our little overture, over review of it. Uh, please come back next please week. Come see us again. You see please, him, uh, okay? Like, comment, Dodge and subscribe. Will be back. Dodge be back. Or will he be back? Who Man, knows? You never know. I ain't know he's gonna be gone this week. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all so much. Remember, check that hoe. <laughs>